Hello, everybody. Well, I, uh, I'm doing this kind of low tech, but I really, really wanted to do an unboxing video of the, this little this little thing right here. Um, I got lucky because Target was doing a red card members only thing where you could order this for normal price, but you had to have a Target red card. And through a really long story, it worked out. It didn't seem like it was going to, but it did. So yeah. Finally, I was never able to get a hold of the classic, but I've got the Super Nintendo classic. So the NES classic still elusive, and I'm not going to pay 200 bucks for it. So, yeah. But here we go. Let's unbox this, this sucker here. So, just nothing. I've got this little puppy here. going to unbox that. And, of course, if you look at the back, it'll tell you all the wonderful, fun games that are on this, uh, including Zelda, Super Mario World, Metroid, lots of good stuff on here. So we're gonna open this up and uh, I'm take out this. So you got your instruction manual on the top, always good. And as you can tell, this is very small. You wouldn't think it would be so small, but of course you've got the ever-present uh, USB converter, which I'll go ahead and take that out of plastic so you can see that a little better. So it's a Nintendo endorsed USB converter, so you can plug the system in, goes into your normal US power plug. Up next we've got the uh, one of the controllers, which are always fun. And there it is, glorious. It's been a long time since I've handled a Nintendo, a Super Nintendo controller, but it feels right. It's got a nice weight to it. It's, it's pretty light, and of course it's got the the old school plug-in cable here that I believe is supposed to be compatible with the NES Classic uh, systems as well. So there's that. So then of course we've got uh, the controller. It is nice that it comes with two so you don't have to buy a second one, which is a big plus to my way of thinking. So way to go on that one, Nintendo. That's that's simply fantastic. All right, so then we've got the um, the HDMI cable, which it comes with, which is nice. I was wondering if I was going to have to buy one. So, very good. Also says Nintendo on it, so hey, you know it's you know it's legit. And then, um, of course, a mini USB cable to actually power this, hence the USB adapter, which is down here as well. So this will plug into that, and then you got power for this thing. So there we go. And then, of course, man, this thing is small. This thing is so tiny. I've seen pictures of it in people's hands, but it doesn't feel quite so small <laughs> until you have it in your own, which I hope you get a chance to get one of these and you're not just having to pay an absorbent amount from someone who's scalping them. So we'll get up close here. So this is the Super Nintendo Classic. Um, as you can see, it's got the reset button here, which appears to be functional power button which is also functional of course this part is just solid that there's no cartridges because all the games are built in so you don't have to worry about that part um, then you've got your HDMI output your mini USB input for the power and then somewhere on here is where you plug in the controllers you would think it would be right there but these are not actual holes if you look right those those are solid so what you do is this whole thing pops off. I'm glad that actually worked like that because I didn't know I was kind of going on a guess there. So there is your controller. So each of the controllers plug in right there, which is uh, pretty simple. I mean, you know, it's just like in the olden days. So there's your controller plug right there, plugs in, it snaps, which is nice. And then it won't pull out because you have to do these little squeeze tabs on the side right there. So you squeeze them both on both sides. And they'll pull out, and then when it's just sitting up on the shelf to look all super original, so you can pop these back in, and then there you go. So there's not a lot to it, but it's amazing that you can fit all the games on here, whereas before you would have to have stacks of games to equal the 21 games that come built into this. And it's also nice, of course, that it's got the HDMI out, despite the fact that the graphics... There's not going to be a whole lot to the graphics that really would be in need of that. But since that's how most TVs connect now, there you go. So, we've got two controllers, 
USB converter, US, mini USB cord, and then of course you've got the HDMI cord and, uh, and the system itself. Of course, the retail price on this, if you can actually find one in a store, isn't bad. It's like $79.99. Of course, if you buy it on eBay, you're going to pay a whole lot more. Um, but I'm very anxious to play this. Maybe I'll make another video and kind of let you know what to think of it. It's been forever since I played a Super Nintendo. This is actually the first version of the Super Nintendo I have ever owned. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> the first system I actually owned was a uh, was like the third generation of a PS1, uh, which was quite fantastic. But with that being said, Super Nintendo Classic, Nintendo out now if you can get one. Um, something tells me I think it's going to be worth it, so I'm going to get it. And then, of course, this is the box that you'll need to be looking for in the store. So that's that's the one. Get rid of the glare there for you. So that's the one. Two controllers. And, of course, like I said, it comes with lots of great games, including uh, Super Mario World, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Super Mario Kart, Yoshi Island, which I'm very much looking forward to play, Star Fox, and the elusive Star Fox 2, which was never actually released before this system. Uh, Kirby's Dream Course, Final Fantasy 3, Super Kirby Star, 8 Games in 1, uh, Secret of Mana, which I know nothing about, uh, Super Metroid, Donkey Kong Country, uh, Mega Man X, Castlevania 4, Earthbound, uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, which sounds interesting, F-Zero, I remember playing this in the arcade back in the day, uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Super Punch-Out, um, let's see, what else is on here? I think that may be about it, but still, 21 games. Oh, it also includes a Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, and uh, there may be one or two on there that I have missed. But uh, I'm looking forward to getting to hang out with this, getting to play some, getting to relive the youth that I didn't get. Once again, thanks, Mom! But it'll be fun. All about this, and I hope you enjoyed it. Go grab you one today if you can find one, and of course, if you can find one, you can also make some money selling it on eBay. Only thing is, that means you're kind of a jerk. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Peace.